generous Mr. Redditor. With respect to your remarks upon the Victorian women's movement for the franchise, instead of going, as we are doing, to the root of all that has so damned the lives, happiness, and reputation of women from all time, you recommend a deputation of Dugdales and Renix to our government. I have been told faith moves mountains, and quite believe it would be easy, compared with the moving of a government by a deputation of women. The mode of action you recommend would occupy all our time from family duties in the cause of fruitless work. It would be like trying to enter a house through a window by means of a rotten ladder, always breaking when stepped upon while the door is ready to be opened. The door by which we shall enter to freedom as human beings is the increasing justice in men's mind, not the whim of a government. We appeal to it, await before it, and we'll not be frightened away either by the false logic or insult of the unthinking. This movement, in which all the best thinkers of the most civilized nations are pining, is the result of a higher development in the human mind, proved by the fine male intellect that forms part of it. Though man's prejudices and strong conservativeness may delay its fruition, he can no more prevent it then he can prevent the changing configuration of the earth. Powerfully and surely working toward a different condition of things with every second of time. Be as nobly just to us in this, our work for justice, as I am proud to think a large part of the press is with us. Again and again thanking you. Yours, H. A. Dugdale.